Welcome to True Crime and Coffee Time, where we make a cup of coffee, do a little coloring, and give you a nugget of true crime. Today's coffee is provided by Javi. It's a French toast uh, syrup blend in there with the concentrate. Henry Lee Lucas, born August 23rd, 1936. He was born in a log cabin of Virginia, one bedroom. He lost his eye at age 10. It got infected from a fight with his brother. His mom was a prostitute, so there was a lot of that in the house growing up. She did force her children to participate in these events as well. His father died of hyperthermia. He was an alcoholic, and he died in one of the winters. So he dropped out of school and ran away from the house shortly after. That's when he claims he committed his first murder, but we'll come to find out that he's not really the best at telling the truth. He killed his mother, and that is the murder he's actually convicted of. He killed his mother in 1960 and two others in 1983, so those are the murders he's actually convicted of. However, why he was incarcerated, he said that he started to claim that he killed 600 people. He was convicted for murdering 11, but as they started to div- dive and dig into these 600, they realized that the, some of the timelines, some of the cases, it was just physically impossible for Henry Lee Lucas to ever be the person committing them which actually altered his conviction. He was on death sentence, but that changed him. In 1998, he was switched over to life in prison because he was claimed a pathological liar, pretty much, because he just lied and spun tales all the time. Later years in prison, he recanted all of his statements and said that it was just a hoax, and he recanted all except for the confession of the murder of his mother. The statement regarding that was this, it's a direct quote from Henry Lee Lucas. All I remember was slapping her alongside the neck, but after I did, I saw her fall and I went to grab her, but she fell on the floor, and when I bit, went back to pick her up, I realized she was dead and a knife was in my hand and she had been cut. His mother was actually found alive at the time, but by the time relief came and help was caught, it was just kind of too late and she did pass. He did claim this was self-defense, served some years, and was released, but then again he got caught for those other crimes and put back in prison later on. He was released in 1970 for the murder of his mother because of overcrowding, but again, he ended up right back there. There's a lot of different beliefs because he just couldn't tell the truth, but in 2001 he died of heart failure, so we won't know.